Okay, we're just going to review muscles here. Um, this is a good opportunity to review for your practical. Here we have the pectoanobrachialis, and here's the ziphihumeralis, the pectoralis minor, and the pectoralis major. You'll notice that, of course, this animal has a distortion in terms of its shoulders, and so it, it, we're not going to get to pull them back over. Pectoanobrachialis, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, ziphihumeralis. Okay, deep on the chest. Um, here's the transverse costarum, which um, you may have cut out. Uh, beneath it, we see the connective tissue that covers the uh, external intercostal muscles. Let's, uh, let's remove that connective tissue from this specimen so you can see them better. Maybe. See how nice and thick this fascia is. And there we go. In between the ribs, you got one rib here and one rib here, you see the external intercostal muscles. Here's the rectus abdominis. Remember, it goes all the way down. We see here the serratus ventralis, and we see this one is the scalenus. All right, the other things we can see from this view, we can see the teres major from the anterior side here, and we can see the subscapularis. All right, um, if we look on the abdominal wall, the specimen doesn't look good for the abdominal wall, so we won't use it for that. Uh, let's uh, turn over to the, to the other side. Whoops, doesn't want to turn over. And when we turn over to the other side, we see, let's turn it around so you can see better on this side. We can see Let's get this shoulder up. We can see. Here we have the clavotrapezius. Here we have the clavodeltoid. Here we have the acromiotrapezius, acromiodeltoid. Here we have the spinotrapezius, and there's your spinodeltoid. We can see here the levator scapulae ventralis. Okay, this is the latissimus dorsi. This is the um, lateral head of the triceps brachii, the long head of the triceps brachii, the medial head of the triceps brachii. There's the anconius, and there's the brachialis. Okay, if we take the, um, this specimen, remember when we dissected the specimen that it had ripped the rhomboidus. So let's go over to the other side where we can see the rhomboids, and here we see the rhomboidus, and there's the rhomboidus capitis. Uh, when we look at the scapula, we see the supraspinatus, we see the infraspinatus, and the teres major, and here you see where the rhomboids attach, but remember they were ripped here at the middle, which means this animal um, was damaged. Um, it may have been hit by a car, even. Uh, let's go to the leg. On the leg, in the back, we have the biceps femoris. This is the caudofemoralis. You don't have to know that one, but it's a good marker. This is the gluteus maximus, the gluteus medius, and here, down here, is the tensor fasciolate. Semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor femoris. This is your gastrocnemius. This is your vastus lateralis. Now let's turn the animal over, and we're going to look from this side, and from this side, semi tendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor femoris. This one is the adductor longus. This one here is the pectineus, and this one here is the iliopsoas. Remember to always do them. Semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor femoris, adductor longus, pectineus, iliopsoas. I want you to notice there are multiple heads to the adductor femoris. Don't uh, split those in, in half. Vastus medialis, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis. Here's the tensor fasciolate. Now remember, when we first did that dissection, there were two muscles over this. This is the gracilis and the sartorius. The gracilis goes to the groin, and the sartorius, of course, goes up to the, um, the hip bone. 